Welcome back to my channel. Happy Monday. Um, it's been a couple of days, guys, since I've posted any Dollar Tree haul. <coughs> and I'm sorry about that. Um, I honestly don't know what's going on. <laughs> Life just seems to be crazy right now. I don't know. I guess we've just had a lot of stuff going on. And I just can't get it all together right now. But I'm here with the Dollar Tree haul. And we're going to go ahead and dive right in. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you is what was on my thumbnails, the, th the thumbnail, the picture that you see whenever you click on the video, and that was these bad boys right here. This is a fantastic deal. This is the Hidden Valley, the original ranch, but this is the spicy one. Don't pay attention to my nails. I have no nails, no jewelry on. Um, yeah, so... I'm lucky to be out here, honestly. It's a rainy day. I'm actually in my driveway, so but I had to bring you guys a haul. So anyway, boom, boom, boom. This is a good deal, and I got two of them. I know the, um, the date on here is like April of 2022, April the 8th to be exact, but you know, it, it, I'm not even concerned about that. Number one, one of them will probably be gone by then because I, when I make my chicken quesadillas that I love so much, I have been using a Hidden Valley um, Buffalo Ranch kind of a top, like um, dip sort of to put on there. But this right here is going to be absolutely perfect. So these, one of these will definitely be gone by April. So we'll see about the other one. But that is a fantastic deal and I couldn't pass it up. I, had, I was checking out and I saw like one of these in the floor, like beside where the person checking me out was standing. I said, that looks like an awful big bottle of salad dressing. What is that? And she said, it's Spicy Hidden Valley Ranch. And I'm like, is there any more back there? She's like, there should be. So I ran back there. There was three more. I got two of them, but I had to. Okay. So this is something that I had never seen. And this is just... Fruit Loops Jelly Beans. How cool is that? I would love to try these just to see if they tasted like jelly beans. Um, I probably won't. It's just It says natural fruit flavors. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, because that blue looks real natural, doesn't it? But anyway, it is what it is. And stuff like this, is this fun for the kids for um, Easter or any time of day or year, really, right? But anyway, I had to grab those. Definitely, they come out with new ones every year. They came out with the Peeps jelly beans, which I never did try, but I don't know how good those would be. But anyway, I grabbed these right here uh, to put in, because I'm just going to do the bags, little Easter bags for the kids, and I think maybe Ricky would like these in his bag. I don't know if there's anything in the, okay. Uh, there's a pack of Smarties inside each one of these eggs. So I got three. This was all I saw. I don't know if they have any more or not, but these are kind of cute. And you know a little boy would just love to play with these. How adorbs. So I got three of those. And then this, this is the day that Fifi was with me. And she said this is the kind of box that she has. Whew, my stomach is killing me. I don't know what's going on. Um, this is the box that she has to put her dryer sheets in, and so I said, give me one. She was trying to hand me a clear one. I'm like, you know me, I gotta have some color, but it's just like this kind of box here, and she has been organizing everything in her life. Honestly, I need to get her over here to organize everything in my life, but I don't think I can pay her enough for that because I've got too much going on at one time, can I just say? Um, but anyway, this is gonna be really cute to put all the dryer sheets in, so yeah. Okay, and then I got one pack of stickers. I feel like I've bought these before, but just for journaling and crafting, or not craft, well, I mean, yeah, crafting, but journals and what's that other one? You know, the, the, the date books that you write everything. What are they called? Like planners, planners. So planners and journals. I love the feathers, and this is really boho. As a matter of fact, it even says boho right there. And look at the feathers and the paisley. I just think these are really, really super cute. I love those. Okay, and then I have a 
uh, receipt. I think that Fetch is given 4,000 points right now if you sign up for Fetch. So if you've been putting it off, guys, ask me for my referral code and go ahead and do it and you will get 4,000 points and that will be pretty awesome. Okay. I remember why I wear, didn't wear this shirt. I don't like the flab like on my arms hanging down. I don't like it. <laughs> okay, so these two Easter signs. I love these. This one looks like he's holding a chocolate bunny. And this one just looks like he's holding some eggs, obviously. Duh, right? How cute are these, though? I love these, and they're gnome. So, you know, I don't even have to say it anymore, right? <laughs> Y'all know what I mean. Okay, so honestly, I have to quit buying lashes. Like, I don't know. I honestly do. If they quit coming out with them with so many lashes, I mean, like, why is the only new makeup item that I've been seeing lashes? Because they know I'm addicted, right? Um, these are pretty cool. Number one, check this out. I hate my nails right now, so I'm going to try not to show them darn things. But anyway, this is the Love Spell ones. I love the ones that are kind of separated. As a matter of fact, that's kind of like the ones that I'm wearing today. They're not the love spell but they're kind of if, if you know what i mean by separated like what is that called even spiky they call them spiky that's sort of like the ones i've got on today which i love that kind so i grabbed those and then i found some more of the um like the i don't what are these like the england the the princess this one's called pastel princess look how thick those are those are going to be really pretty and then these are called Versailles. Ver, I don't know how to pronounce that, guys. Right there it is. I don't want to pronounce it wrong. I like them. I like them. I had to grab them. And then I just needed, uh, if you guys had seen over on my, I don't know if I posted it on YouTube or not, but over on my Instagram, I posted my new really big, awesome pink boho lamp. Well, I'm thinking I should put like a lower bulb in there. I'm just afraid. I don't really know. It didn't come with any instructions or anything. And I'm just afraid that a 100 bulb watt bulb is going to be a little too much for it. I've been using it with the 100, but honestly, at nighttime when I'm trying to go to sleep and the hubby has it on, it's just like a little bit too bright. So I'm going to try either a 60 or a 40 and see which one is going to be just perfect. Because it's just like a little side, just for me to be able to... Um, you know, have hanging over me whenever I'm trying to read or journaling or anything like that. Just so I can have a little light over there. It doesn't have to be crazy. And then I grabbed these Juncture socks. So these are the men's compression socks. And I'd love to have a really good pair. Like, I know, like, if you order them online, like, compression socks can be really outrageous. I know these are a very light compression because they are Juncture brand. But I would just like to see how they felt, you know, like, under a pair of jeans or something like that. Um, I know they're good for people that are on their feet a lot. Um, so... They are, it says fit sizes 6 through 12, and so I thought that if they, since they was men's, maybe they would fit my calves. I know my calves have shrunk some, so I'm kind of hoping, but it feels like to me, honestly, it feels like I would totally be able to wear them. So I'm going to give those a whirl, see how I like them, and then if I like them, I'll probably never see them again because that's how it goes. You know, you see something, you like it, and then you go to get more, and boom, you never see it again. So, so that's how it works. Um, I couldn't resist. I, every year, I tend to get these for Jacqueline, and I can just see her out there. Just how, just how we used to do when we were kids. If you are my age range, you remember like Easter being the big holiday, wearing Easter bonnets and new little shoes and a new dress, and having a little purse and lacy socks and all that fun stuff well i can never resist when i see these for a dollar 25 i just think these are the cutest accessories you try to find some accessories at walmart like a cute little straw hat and a little purse to match way more than a dollar 25 so yes I, I i think i got purple last year i don't even know if she wore them but they're super cute and i know she'll look adorable in them so hopefully i can get a cute little dress to match 
and she probably won't want to wear them, you know? I don't know. Knowing her, she won't want to. Um, I got one more of these because these are so good. Hold on. My stomach's hurting. It just keeps coming in waves. It started hurting like in the middle of the night. It just comes in waves. Takes my breath away. Woo! And then goes away. So, I don't know. This is the Olive Garden. You only get three packs in here, which I should just splurge and buy me a um, pack of, or a bottle of Olive Garden dressing, but... I just kind of keep these hidden away and use them. Um, I love this. This dressing on a salad, a side salad, is so flipping good. I love it so much. So, yes, I, I just keep those for special occasions. And then I grabbed one more of these. This is the Crabtree and Evelyn. Everybody's just saying how good or high end and good these are. So, I just grabbed one more of these. This is the Hydrating body wash so i think i got all of all of them now so i don't know how it smells or anything i think there was like a whole set i'm not gonna i'm not gonna open it i might give the whole set away or something like that but i just feel like you know if you have one of the set or two of the set you might as well have all of them and then i do have another receipt i need to no yeah i was trying to scan last night you can only scan 35 receipts a week and every single sunday i'm always like sitting there scanning my receipts and it says you can't scan anymore until tomorrow so i save them up and then i'll scan them today later um i got this this is just a placemat and i just like to set placemats around sometimes just like even on an end table or on top of a bookshelf or something like that just as a little you know this is a little change to, you know, change something up, change the look, the appear appearance of things, and just set something on it. Maybe my, um, I want to start using my, because um, I've stopped using it for a while, my diffuser, my oil diffuser. I want to start using it again, and I'm like, it would look really cute just up on a, you know, a, a table, an end table, or a bookshelf with this under it, and just a little bowl or something of the oils laying there. I don't know. I just had to get certain things in my mind, and then, yeah. Uh, I just want to say, guys, there's four people, and I'm so sorry. There's four people out there that I am mailing stuff to, and you probably know who you are because you've been hearing me say, no, three. The other person I want to apologize to is every one of y'all because I still need to do that book giveaway. Thanks has been crazy with me lately, guys. I don't know, like very crazy. So I apologize that I'm running so late on doing that book giveaway. If you entered for that book giveaway, don't lose hope. I promise it's coming. And three other people are expecting something from me that I have not gotten mailed out yet. I have two packages in the back to do. And I, I st every time I go to the post office, they're closed or they're like super packed. And I'm like always on such a tight schedule. So don't lose hope it's coming okay let me just say that um i got two ice trays um I, I would love to find the ones with the covers on them because like that's the kind really that i need to have um you know just i just feel like they're more sanitary they have the covers on them and you know i just like them better and i couldn't find any more and mine are just like toast so anyway this is a pack of two so i grabbed those i'll be right back Okay, guys, sorry about that. Okay, so I got one of these, and this is just to mail that book in. I hope tonight I can get around to doing that. Like, this this is ridiculous, okay? Can I just say? Um, I got this, and I posted these over on Instagram because they had, I just felt like this was new, and I don't know if the other ones were new or not, but I am just absolutely loving this one. I just think it's so cute. It's the child. Um, look how cute he is. Like, he is all the rage right now. Is he not? Like, everybody loves him. Um, it's just the LED nightlight. And they had, like, a princess, you know, the Disney princess ones. And it just seems so bright and vibrant. I loved it. But this one right here is just kind of, like, everybody's crazy over the child right now. So, I just thought I'd grab him. Okay, um, and then I saw this in the movie section, DVD, so I got this for my son that lives with me, 
this reminds me, me and him, um, when he was littler, there's a couple of movies. One of them was Spirited Away, and then there was Castle in the Sky, and then something about Kiki's Delivery Service, maybe? I don't know. But it was just, I don't even know what this is called. This says, I don't even know. It says Napping Princess, but it looks just like, you know, the, the people in Spirited Away and all that. And I love those movies. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to order Spirited Away just to have, because I love it. Um, but anyway, it just reminded me of those. So I figured that he'll like this. I don't really know like what, what it's about or anything, but it looks like the same. I don't know if it's a genre of, of stuff. And then he, some, half the time he don't want anything sugar, but the other half he's like, Please get me something sweet, something fruity. So I just grab these right here. So this is the original Gummy Fun Mix. Up to 16 different varieties inside. That seems like a lot. So I just grabbed that for him. Okay. And have I already... Wait a minute. Okay. Oh, I'm struggling. I'm struggling right now. I don't know. It might be a stomach virus. I don't know what it is. But luckily, I only have to go as far as my car right now. So, bear with me, guys. Whew. Okay, so I got some signs here. Which, what's going on? Okay, so I found these two right here, which I love. You gotta love them because they're the truck, right? Carrot Patch, pick your own, 25 cents each, locally grown, open daily. And the truck is super sparkly, if you can see that. And then this one, Cottontail Farms, open daily, $1 a dozen, this way to the bunny trail. So I guess it's a dozen of eggs. And the pink truck is super sparkly. So how cute. I told Fifi she needed to come over um, and go through like all my stuff and get what she wants to take to work to decorate with. Now these signs right here, I, I honestly am feeling like these signs are some of my favorite. Even though they're not gnome and they're not truck, they are really, they feel like really high, not high end, duh. But they just feel really, really well made. They seem like they might would come from like TJ Maxx or something instead of like Dollar Tree, okay? So if you can see, like this right here is kind of lifted up a little bit, you know. Um, it's like on this background, which I absolutely love. Um, it says Cottontail Farms Annual Easter Market. How cute is that? Bunny trails, carrots and candy, bunny parking in the back. Sorry, but I just think that is so cute. And it's really heavy duty. Like it weighs twice as much as the other signs. I just love it. <clears throat> and then this one. How cute is this? Like so nice looking. Um, very farmhouse chic I think. Bunny Trail Farms. Locally grown. Farm fresh eggs and produce. Established in 1925. Open daily 9 to 5. So there is that. So anyway. Those are probably my favorite two signs that I've seen so far. And then along the Easter aisle, can I say, I got these because number one, this is so cute. So this is just garland, but look at this. Can you see this garland? How cute. It's got little baby chicks all over it. How cute would that be to decorate for Easter? I just absolutely love that. And it wouldn't be garland if I didn't throw it over, you know, and wear it. Um, also, I got this pretty pink one. And I love this because it has bunnies. And the bunnies have little eggs in front of them. Can you see that? Look at the little eggs. I just absolutely love these. I love garland. Like, it's so, so pretty. And just such a cute way to decorate and get a lot of color in there. And these two colors, like, I just love them. So, had to grab those. Let me just put these over here. Okay. And then, my hubby, I, I got these for him. Um, this is just the Duraflame Fire Starters. So, this is at home or on the go wood fire lighters. 
indoor or outdoor. Um, he has got like, not really a, well, sort of like a bug out kit, but you know, bags, like if the end of the world comes, you know, no, hold on, hold on one second. Sorry, I don't know where I was. Um, so, you know, bags to grab if something goes down and you have to get out of Dodge, you know, something like that. So, I just thought that he would like to put a couple of these in his bags. And he is all about, like, survival gear and stuff like that. So, I just think that he will be really happy to see those. He loves stuff like that. So, yeah. Okay. And now, so, this bucket right here, guys. Now, this is the gnome. They also had, like, a pink truck, which I was thinking if I went back and saw it, I would grab it. But when I went back, they were out of all of these bad boys. But luckily, I think they had just put these out, and I was able to get this one right here. I did take pictures of the other ones and put on Instagram. But this one right here is so cute, and I love that it's on a metal a, a metal bucket like the galvanized he's holding a sign that says egg hunt and it just says happy easter so i think that to fill these up with some eggs or some like mini littler eggs or something would be really really pretty i don't even know like what would you guys do with this like just let me know just give me some ideas you guys are the best at that and then i had to get these i have quite a silicone collection um, so these, you could, you could use these for a lot of different things. You can use these for like the jello molds, you know, to make the jello jigglers, basically. These would be so cute to make jello jigglers. I would love to have a jello jiggler in the shape of a bunny head, honestly. Um, they had three different colors, so I got one of each, and you could use these as molds for fudge, or, well, not fudge, just, I mean, fudge? Is that... Yeah, yeah, but it says that they are baking molds, so I don't know if you can put like a mini cake in it and stick it in the air fryer. I don't know, but it would be a perfect little, perfect size cake, wouldn't it? I'm going to have to research. If you guys know anything about these or have got them and used them in some way, let me know because I am just curious, but I love these colors. I just think they're super cute. And I hadn't seen them before, so I'm like, get in my buggy. You gotta go with me. And then something else that I thought was really, really cute is really, this is more geared for spring rather than like Easter. I mean, it'd be cute for Easter too, but these are garlands, guys. Look how cute these are. I'm gonna open one up. This one is daisies, and this one is just the regular, you know, bright, beautiful colors. I'm gonna open up this daisy one because I'm just wanting to see how this looks. I'm curious. It says it's five feet of garland. So let's just see what this looks like. How cute is this? All right, so here's what it looks like. So you have a flower. Well, it's all towards me. You have a flower and a leaf, a flower and a leaf. How cute would this be? It still keeps turning towards me. Here we go. How cute! I love this. Like, what would be good to do with this? Like, what about if you were decorating for, like, May Day? Like, you know, I don't know who all decorates for May Day or anything, but I just think it'd be cute, like, as a teacher to put up around a bulletin board or something like that. Aren't they cute? I love these. Yes. So, and I guess the other ones, basically same thing. I'm going to shove them back in this pack really quick. Okay, those are cute. So cute. Okay, let's see. Um, the Easter celebration or the Easter dinner that I'm planning on making, I got these because I think they're just gorgeous. I love them. The color, you know, it's just perfect for an Easter dinner. So I grabbed these. And then I grabbed these napkins to go with Easter dinner. And you guys know I showed y'all the bucket 
uh, the clear bucket. I think it had the gnome on it as well. I don't think it's in here. I think I took it in. But that's going to be like for the cutlery to, to stick up. And, and I may just wrap each one individually, you know, like a, a knife, a fork, and a spoon in a napkin and put them down in there. Maybe tie a cute little bow around. Wouldn't that be cute? I'm getting way too fancy. Like, I think of these things and then when time comes, I'm always in a hurry or in a rush and I'm like, no. But the night before, I could just sit in my chair, you know, in the living room and just get these together, right? I hope I do that. Like, it's funny that I say that, but I hope I do that. But anyway, yeah, these are so cute. And that don't need to go there. Wow. Sorry, guys. Oh, man down. Okay. I got two of these. How cute. Number one, it's the truck. It says, carrot patch ahead. So, I just think that's a really cute ribbon. Me and Felicia has actually been talking about starting to do a crafting a crafting day again. So, I don't know if, if that's something we'll actually do. You know, whenever I got my hair cut into a bob, these pieces, you know, it, it worked. It worked. But now that my hair is getting older, older, obviously, longer... I need to get these pieces chopped off because it just looks uneven, right? I didn't even fix my hair. It's raining. <sighs> this this Dollar Tree haul is all to pieces, isn't it? It's like all to pieces. Anyway, let me show you all this. Carrots, flowers. Anyway, we were talking about doing that, so we may. And then I saw these. I hadn't. I bought these a while back and had not seen any more like this in a while. So it's just these stickers here. Um, and they're just absolutely gorgeous. I love them. And they're all different. Like, I, I got this one. And then I'm like, oh, this one has more fuchsia. You know. but And this one has, like, more purple. Yeah, because this one didn't have any big purple ones. Um, so I'm just like, let me just get both of these. And these are just good to put in your journals as well. Or planners. I don't know. I love them. I, I just love stickers in, in general. Like a good sticker. Yeah. And then I got me some buttons because the other day I wore a shirt and it had um, like a button gone off the sleeve. And I absolutely love that shirt. So I just need probably one of those little tiny white ones right there. It's going to be perfect. Although the other little button on the other sleeve is gold. I knew I wasn't going to find like any gold buttons like these. There's no gold or silver in here. It's just the, the one with like all the blacks, browns, maybe some dark blues up in there too, actually. And then they have this one with all the different colored ones. So honestly, a little tiny white one is going to be perfect, but nobody will ever notice that anyway. But honestly, this is something good to have is buttons. Like you can craft with buttons or you can just put them in your daggone sewing case because like there comes times when you need buttons like buttons fall off pants and you know it's just good to have buttons around so anyway okay so i've got some material and yes more material that i'm planning on making pillows with but i couldn't resist number one let me take let me this one right here i got two of each so this is going to be a front and a back like the pillow will be the same on the front and back but i've got to show i got to unroll this because i didn't i was wanting to unroll it in the store but obviously you can't so i just have to see what this looks like myself and it's gorgeous it's just as gorgeous as i thought it would be so look at this how beautiful how gorgeous is this I love this so much. So it's these gorgeous unicorns and they've got flowers in their mane. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. So I got two of those for the pillow. And then this other one is like 80s vibe all the way. Okay, let me just, let me undo it. You gotta see it. Eight, and you know if it's 80s vibe, I'm totally gonna do it. Hold on, bear with me. This is cute. I see lipstick, I see cassette tapes. Like cassette tapes is 80s vibe, 100%. 
There's a dumb cactus, which I don't know why, but I'm just appalled. I don't even know if this is 80s vibe now, okay? Okay, there's coffee, chill, oops, cactuses, thunderstorms, yes, lipsticks, superstar, girl boss, there's a crown. This is cute. Like, this would be cute for Jack's bed, honestly. All of these colors and all of these things are just like so th something that she would have in her bed. So cute on her bed. So, okay, there's that bag. If you guys didn't watch my video, I did get my uh, tattoo that I have been wanting. I absolutely love it. I taped, I recorded a little bit of it, not much. It was only like a four minute video. Um, but yeah, it was pretty painful, especially this side, this, this area here was the most painful. Still in the healing process, but I love it so much and I'm glad I did it. And it's actually like, just like a, a, a well, my, hub, my hubby asked me something about, like, why I did it, like, why I wanted it and all that. And I'm just like, it's, just, it just seems like to be a part of who I am and just like a statement piece, sort of, where it has the compass, you know, and, and the, the pine tree, and I love the woods, and the moon on it, and I love the moon, and stuff like that. I just really, really, you know, had my heart set on getting it, so... Okay, guys, so I got these, and because I felt like these are really a good deal. These are the Mossy Oak. Like, you cannot beat this. I don't know how much these are originally. I would love to know, but these are the um, Dry Fresh. Both of them, I think, are the same. Yeah, so I just got a red one and a blue one. It fits sizes 6 through 12, which is all of my the guys in my family. Um one pair each, which, you know, is still an awesome deal. Full cushion thermal extreme heat. Now, I just feel like my hubby should just wear these because his feet is always cold and I'm always hot. Like, we are so opposites, like, at nighttime. Bless his heart. He lets me turn my fan on, but bless his heart is all I can say. Oh, this was the same day I got these, um... I got two of these, the mint compression. I got two of these that day. So, yes. Okay, and then <laughs> I'm going to save that for last because it's funny. Um, I got some wax paper. Honestly, wax paper will do me forever. Like, I hardly ever use it. I use parchment paper way more than wax paper, but, like, I was out of wax paper, so I went ahead and grabbed it. And then I grabbed this right here for my hubby. I thought, I thought he would really find it interesting. It's from John Burke. It says, What's After Life? Evidence from the New York Times best-selling book, Imagine Heaven. And it says, Your last breath is just the beginning on the back. What's After Life? And I thought he might enjoy reading that. He likes reading stuff like that. So I thought he might enjoy that. And then I got, anytime I see a little golden book, I just always feel like it's such a good deal to find a little golden book, you know? Like, I always had these when I was little, and I just love these. So these are both sort of more boy-oriented than girl. This one says Rocket by Baby, a space flight lullaby, and just super cute. And then this one says, here comes the, oh, here comes the Bit Police. And Rusty Rivets. I don't know who he is, but maybe he has a cartoon, like on Nickelodeon. It says Nickelodeon. Yeah. So, Rusty Rivets. So, two little golden books. Okay. This is, I showed you guys this the other day. I have got two of them that day to share with my family. So, I'll see who wants that one. And then I ended up getting this. I think I was going to put this in baby Ricky. Oh, no. I got this for Jack. This is <clears throat> Draw With Me Ocean Animals. So, not that she really draws anymore. Like, I think I'm going to have to do something about that. I'm just going to have to lay down a rule. Although, it's hard when your son and his daughter live with you to be the one to lay down the rules, but I'm just going to have to put like a limit on electronics, you know, because I just don't think it's good. 
24-7. I don't know. Tell me if I'm wrong. I just don't know. I just feel like an hour or two at the most a day of electronics. Like, I don't know. Like, anyway, I just feel like it'd be best for her. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, this is really cute. Like, yeah. Anyway, there's that. And then I found me a couple books, which I always love finding a couple books. Number one, I love this. So this one says, I Dare Me. And it's sort of been the way I've been living my life the past, I don't know, um, six months or so. I've been trying to get out of my comfort zone more, going to the movies by myself, uh, getting out and doing more things like going bowling. Um, I've lost 51 pounds. Um, still working on that. That's a work in progress. Um, but anyway... I dare me. So it says how I rebooted and recharged my life by doing something new every day. I love that. So anyway, I don't know if this was a bestseller or whatever. It was retailed for $17. It says feeling stuck. Yes. Yes. Um, veteran journalist and cancer survivor Luann Calm was feeling angry and frustrated. Yes. Yes. The economy was tanking, her job was changing, in a word, she felt stuck. Yes, I felt, yes, yes, sister, yes. Okay, so I'm going to read that bad boy. And then this one says, it's a national bestseller. It says, I miss you when I blink. It says, what, um, let's see, what does this say? It says, spoiler, happiness ahead. Um, the one book you should read right now. This is a book you'll want to buy for yourself and every other woman you know. That's just it. Like, I am so into empowering other women to do something for themselves and to do a change for themselves and to do something that makes them happy. Like reading something like that, th I could not put this book in my buggy fast enough because I love reading stuff that I can pass on to you guys, not only on this channel, but on my other channel as well to help you guys empower your life and take your life back. Because if you are like me, in so many ways you definitely feel like you are in the biggest rut in your life and yet that you are in limbo your life is in limbo you don't know what to do and you need to do something you know to take your life back so i'm gonna be reading this bad boy too and i'm super excited like I i'm excited about that okay now this is the last thing in this bag which i'm going to show you I found these and I was super excited. I got this for Cravey Wavy and I, I had seen other people post these and people actually had sent me pictures and this is a daggone blazer guys. This is a blazer and it's bright orange. It's going to match Cravey Wavy's hair and he is going to think that he is really the bomb.com. Okay. So when I saw this, I literally yelled out loud. Like I was so excited. They also had purple ones, white ones, and I think a bright lime green or a zombie green as I like to call it ones. But they've got shoulder pads. This is from that brand um, Amscan. What the heck? This is like, this is a really good deal. So this will just be part of his wardrobe from now on and he'll wear it on special occasions. So anyway, I had to grab that and I just could not believe when I saw it to tell you the truth. That was a really good deal. Okay, now last time I went to Dollar Tree, I just ran in with Fifi, but I'm like, now you know I have to look around really fast, right? And this was the day of baby Ricky's birthday party, which I posted just a little, I didn't really, None of my pictures were really that great, but I did take a couple pictures and I put them on Instagram. Um, so anyway, I got this that day. It was supposed to have went down in his birthday bag. So um, this is Brush Buddies Poppin' Toothbrush, and it's just a little toothbrush that pops up. They had a little tiger and little lion, I think, but I like this little frog. I thought he was cute. So I'll just have to save that for him, or maybe I'll just stick it in his Easter basket. Um, and then they had a couple of air fresheners that I never saw. Um, this one is just from Driver's Choice, which means it probably won't be that great. Ooh, hold on one second. 
<clears throat> Sorry guys. This is not passing. I'm starting to think I have a stomach virus, which is not good. I'm really wanting to get done with this haul though. Okay guys, I'm really sorry. I'm just going to have to cut this right here. I do have a few more things over here. I will I will put them on the next haul. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for bearing with me. I'm super sorry that this Dollar Tree haul was a little bit crazy, but until next time guys, bye!